Hi guys, Dan Jones here, hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video just because uh, I just read Larry Fink's um, annual letter to CEOs and I found it quite inspirational and wanted to share my thoughts on it on some of the things that I found interesting. Um, it's funny because, you know, this letter sort of, he, he's kind of increasingly over the years been talking about sustainability and ESG. Um, but it's funny how increasingly his letter has become, rather than a letter to CEOs, almost like a barometer for corporate sustainability. And, you know, it, it's pretty amazing that the entire letter this year is totally around sustainability and ESG. It's about it's positioned around using the opportunity that we have now to actually solve and combat the climate crisis. And, you know, some of the language that he was using in it, I found, you know, really interesting, you know, he's talking around net zero emissions and this kind of language, you know, he's, 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 he's trying to appeal to the ambition um, and the vision of CEOs to not only, you know, focus on mitigation, but on actually um, contributing effective solutions to total, you know, um, decarbonisation. And it's just quite um, a remarkable, you know, um, to see this kind of language being used and, and promoted and, 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 and such so high in, in the corporate agenda now. Um, Another thing I found really interesting was, you know, obviously he's been talking about the importance of sustainability disclosure. Um, he mentioned SASB and TCFD in last year's um, his 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 letter last year, but um, obviously, you know, he, he one of the things I liked is he said, you know, don't kind of wait for regulation to tell you what to do. Don't kind of wait for a guide. Just start disclosure, get the information out there, follow a framework that suits you and just report on your most material issues, which is, you know, something that we we all need to focus on. Obviously, he mentions the, the, the standardization that GRI, SASB, um, TCFD, all those guys are, are kind of working on. And then the final thing was just that, you know, it, it's just really highlighted to me that how mainstream sustainability has become in corporate um in corporate the corporate world now and you know i love that he was talking about his optimism for the future and highlighting that more sustainable companies outperform not just within um within uh you know industries but also you know just as individual companies you know sustainability there's a sustainability premium that he mentions. And I found that, you know, really nice language as well to kind of encourage companies to really, really get on board. And um, yeah, I, I just found it really in, in inspiring and, and kind of made me sort of want to keep um, being on the right side of history, I guess, um, and, and, and do some good work this year. So let me know what you thought about it um, in the comments below. Um, smash the like button if you like this video. Let me know your thoughts and speak to you soon. Peace.